Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you guys enjoyed workout A. This is gonna be workout B. We're gonna to start today very similar to how we started the first one with two plank, two core related moves, all right? We're just gonna kind of flip it a little bit. So the other day we did our dynamic plank was a side plank with the knee lift. Today we're just gonna hold the side plank. We're gonna get really strong here. I remember back in college I had to do a research paper and um, basically what it came down to is the side plank activated our midsection, these muscles surrounding here. It's like that natural weight belt. Um, the side plank activated these muscles more than any other exercises they compared to, you know, machine-based crunches, crunches on the ground, uh, forearm plank, things like that. It was the side plank that uh, helped develop those muscles, um, you know, those muscles where we have those, the, 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 the most pain, say, in the low back area, like that whole region. So side planks, here they are. Elbows under your shoulder, hips up high, hold it. 30 seconds roughly on each side, all right? That's the first one. The second exercise we're gonna do here, we're gonna get back into that push-up position. You know, the other day we did plank taps where we touched the shoulder. Today, all we're gonna do is we're gonna touch, and then we're gonna reach out to the side like a T. So from here, it'll look like this. Tap the other shoulder, reach out, and then return. So tap, reach, return. Those are gonna be your first two exercises. Our power exercise today is gonna to be an upper body power. The other day we did lower body, today upper body. So what we're gonna do here is an explosive push up. This is gonna be the advanced version of everything, all right? We're gonna, basically, you know, you see people do those clapping push ups, that's kind of what we're gonna be working on here. So we're lowering ourselves, and then boom, coming up. All we have to do is just get our hands up off the ground. Now, if you're like, dude, I can't even do a real push up, that's not possible, let's get something that we could throw. It could be a pillow, it could be a medicine ball, whatever. You're gonna lie on your back and you're just gonna repeat that same motion except we're gonna be throwing something upward. Instead of our body, it's a medicine ball. Be careful, obviously, that thing could hit you in an area that you don't wanna be hit if you're a male or a female. So um, throw it up, maybe you have somebody catch it for you and hand it back to you or you just catch it to yourself, but you have to be incredibly careful. That's our upper body power exercise. All right, everybody, so right now we're moving on here. We just did our upper body power. Now we're gonna uh, hit a exercise in that same pattern that we just did. So we just did the explosive medicine ball throw or the explosive push-up. Now we're gonna hit a dumbbell bench press. So what do we need for this? We need a bench, obviously, and we need some dumbbells, all right? You can use a barbell, you can use kettlebells. You can, do, you can lie on the floor and do this exercise. You can just practice your push-ups. Um, you know, as long as we're pushing in this pattern, we're gonna be good to go here. So what we're gonna do is grab your dumbbells, lie on your back, press these things straight up, hit all your reps, and then be done with it. The exercise that we have paired up with that is going to be a deadlift, all right? We could use kettlebells or dumbbells. I'll t we'll take a look at what that is right about now. So our deadlift today is gonna be a very beginner version of the deadlift. Now we're gonna have two weights in our hands here. We're gonna have them um, basically right in front of our, our legs here. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of bend down with the weights and then stand up. Our, our pattern for this is gonna be very comparable to um, what uh, basically what a squat looks like. We're gonna allow those knees to bend. All we're gonna do is just hold our weights in our hands, all right? All right, so we just did our hinge and we just did our push. Now our next exercise here is going to be a split squat. This is gonna look like, uh, you know, kind of a lunge except our feet are not going anywhere. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna get into a stance like this, one foot out in front of our other, we're gonna drop our back knee almost to the ground, and then we're gonna come up. One option for this is to hold weights in each hand. All right, so you do all your reps on one side, switch your stance, all right? Coming down, coming up, all right? Remember, a back knee is almost gonna touch the ground. It's okay if it does. You could put a pillow under your knee there to kind of give you a, a, you know, a, a spot, a point that you could touch and come up so you could gauge how deep you're, you are going so to, so to make sure all of your reps are consistent. Lightly tap your knee to the pillow and then stand up. All right, everybody, our next exercise is gonna be tall kneeling. We need a band for this one. We could loop it around a squat rack. If you don't have that, you could loop it around a, a pillar. Um, a ceiling pillar, you know, uh, a base, uh, support base that you have in your house, anything that's gonna hold it pretty firm that if you start pulling on, it's gonna stay there. The angle of this um, is important. We wanna kinda have it more vertical and then horizontal. We did the horizontal row the other day. Today we wanna keep it vertical. It can also be at a 45 degree angle if that's what, what we have to do. But basically what we got is we're gonna pull this straight down 
and then you're gonna come up, all right? So pull straight down, squeeze that out, those back muscles, and then pull up. It's gonna hit this muscle here, and it's also gonna hit some of those upper back muscles that we felt the other day. So pull that band down, squeeze, hold, release, and then repeat. Hey guys, so our finisher today is gonna to be this little metabolic thing, you know, um, every minute on the minute. So uh, we're gonna do this for 10 minutes. So we're gonna do a squat and a press. It's a total body exercise. So we're gonna get two weights. And every time that the, the clock is at zero, zero, we're gonna do six reps of a squat and a press. So this is what it looks like. So full squat all the way down, boom, press the weights. After you do six of those, you take a break. So it's gonna be roughly, you know, 10 seconds of work with a 50 second break. You do that 10 total rounds. So at the end of it, you're gonna be doing rough, you're gonna be doing 60 squat and presses with little to no rest. So if your wind is okay in the beginning, over time, you should get tired. Make a note, if you do this and it's not challenging at all, the weight is probably too light. Next time, ramp it up a little bit. Um, we're gonna revisit this stuff down the road. So hope you guys enjoyed workout B. If you have any questions or comments, just find me, man. Chris Fluke, Facebook, chrisfluke.net. Uh, see Fluke at Instagram, anywhere. Ask away, see you guys, enjoy it.